Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors. And for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, on the trail of the Black Arrow. Hail Silver! Hi! The rain had fallen steadily through the afternoon and early evening. It beat upon the trees and on the roof of the hunter's cabin that was sheltered by the trees. The heavy clouds obscured the stars and moon. Intense darkness shrouded the two horsemen who made their way toward the small shelter. Good thing we decided to camp in that old hunter's cabin, Tonto. It'd be a bad night to spend without a shelter of some sort. Well, we make lean, too. We do that plenty time before. Yes, cabin makes it unnecessary. Well, me not like to go to cabin. Why not? We go there in the afternoon, leave supply. I don't understand, Tonto. We did leave supplies there this afternoon. So all the more reason to go back there tonight. Well, I... <laughs> Sometimes I can't understand you. Well, plenty of mystery past few weeks. Oh, you mean the girl who's been writing those notes for us? Uh -huh. She's been a lot of help. I don't know where she gets the information. She passes on to us. It's all been valuable. Uh, that's right. You don't seem at all pleased. Well, me like it better. We know who girl is. Me not like mystery. Well, as long as she's helping a good cause, let's not hold it against her. She wants to keep her identity a secret. You not want to know who girl is? Of course I do, Kimosabe. Trying my level best to find out. Just because she's clever enough to keep out of sight, we're not going to be angry. Besides, what's she got to do with our going to that cabin? By now, maybe girl been there and maybe leave more letter. Otto, that's just what I'm counting on. We took no pains to conceal our movements. It would be simple for the girl to learn that we were going back to the cabin tonight. If she goes there with a note... What then? We'll have a pretty fair idea who she is. Missouri has been hiding in the cabin all day. Missouri? That's right. He's been in the loft waiting for the girl to show up. I told him not to let himself be seen. To get a good look at her and find out all he could. Follow her when she left, if possible. Ah. I want to know who she is without her being aware that I know it. Well, here we are. I know that we do, too, by the sound of your horses. Come on in and get yourselves out in that there wet. Nothing happened, Missouri? Not a thing. Not a doggone thing. I spent the lonesomest cuss of day that I ever did spend. And it was worse after it got dark. Nothing but spiders for company. <laughs> we take horse round back. All right, Tonto. Bring the saddlebags in. We'll unpack them. Uh, Tonto, do it. This way, Scout. 
Well, so there's no sign of her unknown friend. No, Dad Rat at all. And now that you're here, I'm going to light the lamps and get the fire built up. I'm so doggone hungry for some hot vittles and hot coffee. Missouri, I... huh? Now listen to me. Did you tell anyone that you'd be here? No, sure not. No one? Not a soul. I don't go around shooting my mouth off about important business like this. Why, well, I didn't so much as breathe a hint about our scheme to try and learn about that she male. <laughs> what are you chuckling about? <laughs> Never seen you curious like this before. Forget it, Missouri. Get saddled, Bank. Now time to go fix horns for night. Right. I'll have a light going in Jiffy now. The fire's all set up in the fireplace. I'll have this place warm quicker than you can say your own name. As if you ever did say it. There now. There's some supplies here in this... What's the matter? Missouri, look. Huh? Come here. Now, you listen to me. You're about the best friend I have outside of Tonto. Uh, what's that you got? Listen to me. Now, I know you tell a lot of things, and you have trouble keeping a secret. But this time, I know you can keep still, because you realize how important it is. Uh, but what Here's is another it? one of those letters. I haven't told anyone about these notes, understand that? Sure. And if a single word about them gets out, I'll know that you're to blame. Oh, now, pardon me. I don't want you to forget that, because if you ever tell a single soul about this, it'll be the end of my trust in you. You can count on me. Now, what the Sam Hill is that thing? Where'd it come from? I'll take an oath that the girl wasn't here. No, Missouri, she wasn't here. She put this on my saddlebag while I was in town. As a matter of fact, she was riding it against the saddlebag when I interrupted her. You did? You can see where the marks of the pencil have made little dents in the leather. She left the message unfinished. Probably I came, she saw me, and had to leave. Uh, now, what's that say? Guy, sure is pretty handwriting, ain't it? Uh, my eyes... Now, quiet a minute. Most important of credentials. Highly confidential. Westbound stage, iron box, must... Missouri. <laughs> My sakes alive. Don't dig so when you speak up. What's the matter? Missouri, I've got to get an iron box off the westbound stage. It's due tonight. Yeah, sure it is. What about it? Just after it leaves town, it's going to be held up. Jumping Juniper, we I've got... got to stop that stage and take an iron box off before it gets to town. You mean? Now look here. You ain't going to stick up this stage. I'm going to take that iron box. Hello. Uh, me here. Leave the saddles on. Bring the horses around. We're traveling. I'm with you, then. I'm riding with you. I always say if a thing's got to be done, it's got to. And if the law gets in the way, hang the law. You light that fire and stay here. Me? We'll be back before morning. Uh, but I... That is, I want You wanted ride. food and coffee. Well, go fix it. Uh, can I travel along with you? Three men's better and two for a job like this. Someone I can trust must stay here and watch our supplies. Be ready now. We've got to head for the stage trail east of town and stop the stage. <laughs> See you later, Missouri. I reckon so. Get him up, Scout. Oh, so. Uh, Dad will rat it all in thunder racing. Wish I was riding with him. Well, oh, being as I hate him, he'll well rustle myself some vittles. He says there was some eating things in the saddlebags. Well, guess I'll get the fire burning first. Don't gone cold gets into marrow my bones. A one. Hey, that way are you covered? Don't make no moves. Who are you? Uh, why'd you shoot the lantern out? Come in here and keep your hands up. You hear me? I got you covered. Speak. Don't go to the door. Speak. Uh, hey. Who opened the door? I hear the rain. Stand where you are. Stand still now. Don't move. I see you. I got you covered. Make a move and I'll shoot. I see you. <laughs> you fibber. Uh, what, what, where? Listen to me. I'm right behind you and I'm holding a gun on you. I see me. I took a big chance coming here. I had to take it. Now calm down and listen. Please do. I know you and I have the same interest. Uh, well, and uh, don't turn around. I, I ain't moving. He's gone, hasn't he? Yeah. That was the Lone Ranger I heard riding away a minute ago. Uh-huh. Uh, but she... The situation's desperate. Tell me, Missouri, in the name of goodness, tell me the truth. Has he gone to stop that stagecoach? I ain't got a thing to say. Wait, I, don't... I didn't come here on foot after my horse fell because I like to get soaked and half frozen in this cold rain. Uh, you don't... Uh, I mean, you didn't... You mean your horse fell? Yes. I came here on foot. Uh, the Lone Ranger's been trying to find you. I know. I'm turning and making a light. I'm going to see what you look Wait, like. Wait, just one second more, Missouri. Listen to me. I had to take a risk in coming here. I felt sure that the Lone Ranger would not take advantage of the situation. That he'd respect my desire to remain unseen, as far as possible unknown. I know you'll be just as fair. Oh, doggone it all. But why? I left a note that is a partly finished note. 
After the Lone Ranger left, I realized that I'd given the impression that he had to stop the stagecoach. Don't tell me that ain't what you meant. The one thing he shouldn't do is stop that stage. Jumping Juniper, that's the one thing he's going to do. That's what I was afraid of. So you give him a bum steer. You send him to stop the stage and likely get his head blowed off. Oh, sorry. Huh? There's no use trying to overtake him. Even if I had a good horse, there'd be no chance to catch Silver. You're doggone well right. <laughs> Uh, now, look at here. You're catching cold from being in the rain. Never mind me. Uh, let me build up a fire. No, no, there isn't time. Please listen. Uh, well, I it's ought up to... to you and me to act quickly. I, I don't know how I can impress you with the importance of what has to be done. we got to stop the Lone Ranger from sticking up that stage. Oh, we can't do that, Missouri. But when he comes back here, tell him, tell him that he must disguise himself and go to the hotel in town. You've got to see that he does that, understand? Disguise himself? Go to the hotel? As a traveling man. A salesman, perhaps. Will you do that, Missouri? That's all. Yeah. He's to take the iron box with him. Keep it with him. I'll tell him. Thank you. Hey, now that cold. Missouri, I do... please tell him not to lose faith in me, no matter what happens. Hey, what's going to happen? Just tell him that, for me. I will. But I wish to goodness I could fix up a fire. I wish you'd tell me what has to happen to the Lone Ranger. Me sitting here waiting, and him out there riding in the rain, maybe to his death. Hey, I don't hear the rain. Hey, have you gone? Hey, miss? Well, doggone. Doggone, I say. Mm. She sure had a mighty sweet voice. <laughs> Later the same evening, the rain stopped, but the sky was still overcast. Outside the town, it was dark, but with the stage due to arrive, the town was brightly lighted. Even the road was bright with the illumination that came from the many buildings. Where's the sheriff? Where's he at? I want to see the sheriff. Here. It's me, the driver's yelling. Uh, let me through there. Here's the sheriff. Hey, what's wrong? Help me down. Here, guard. You get down, too, and tell the sheriff what happened. Come on inside. You, guard, stay with your stage. Do what the law says. Sheriff, I got something to say, and you better bring a couple of deputies to hear it. Trouble on the road? Plenty. Loomis, Loomis, you and Pete come inside. Watch the stage now, guard. I'll be out in a minute. All right, Hank, what's up? Stick up. What? On a night like this? I didn't think even a highwayman would be out on a night like this. Where'd it happen? Two miles back, and this wasn't the work of highwaymen. It wasn't? Then who was it? That's what I'd admire to know. Well, go on, tell some more. Well, I had an iron box on board. It wasn't very big, so it wasn't too heavy for one man to handle, even on horseback. Iron, you say? I never seen a box as strong as that one. And all the way across the country, I was wondering what could be so valuable that it was locked in a box like that. Yeah? Well, what was? How do I know? I didn't open it. I didn't have no key for it. Mm. I just know that I had that there box, and that I was some curious about it. Well, as I said, two miles east of here, we was brought to a stop by a man firing a couple of shots. Right up there. I want something you're carrying. I reined up like I was told, and the man come close. He rode a white horse, and that was about all I could see of him. There was another man waiting a little ways back. The stranger yelled. I want the iron box. Well, I tossed it to him, and then he said... That's all I want. I'm sorry to have had to stop you. You can go on now. I was about to start. I whipped the horses. Get up, I yelled. And then the guard leaned out from the seat, raised his rifle. And... Well, the guard dropped that hombre. I see him spill from the horse. But that ain't the main reason I wanted to tell you about this. The other man was a redskin, an engine. Mm, I see. You got no idea who it was your guard shot? Nope, and I don't know how hard he was hit. He might have been killed. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The girl of mystery didn't complete her message to the Lone Ranger. The masked man, therefore, took an iron box from the stage and was wounded in the attempt. He returned to the hunter's cabin in the woods where his friend, old Missouri, waited. He can't travel for a while, partner. Not a chance of it. You were here to let their wound get healed over. Tell me some more about the girl, Missouri. What else did she say? Well, uh, I don't know as you should tell you. You can't do it anyhow. <laughs> you better talk, Missouri. Tonto fix wound. He is a lot better when you bathe it, Tonto. Well, go on, Missouri. Well, all right then. She says that you was to fix up to look like a drummer, a salesman of some sort, and take that there ornery trouble-making hunk of iron with a lock on it and go live in a hotel in town. I see. But you can't do it. Wait, Tonto. Let me stand up and see if I can move without limping. You can. And if you could, it wouldn't matter. It could be seen that you stopped the slug. And that'd be enough to tip off the lawman that you bear some investigating in connection with that affair. I'll manage all right, Tonto. Uh, Tonto bandage wound now. Dad read it, I'm against it. Missouri, you were telling me what the girl said. I did tell you. Is that all? Well, she says that I should ask you to trust her. Didn't she say why I was to go to the hotel? Nope. What I was to do there? Nope. How long I was to stay? Nope. Very well, then. You ain't going, are you? Yes, as soon as Tonto fixes a bandage. Hurry, Tonto. A group of hard-faced men sat in a small room in the rear of the cafe. It was later the same night. A new arrival gave a significant rap on the door. The door opened. Howdy, Neville. Howdy, boys. Glad you're all here. We come as soon as we got word about the box being taken from the stage. No use us sticking it up, then. We hurried here, figuring there'd be word as to what to do next. You're done right, gents. And I'm the one that's brought the word you mentioned. Yeah? What's the next move? Getting that iron box. That's easy enough to say. Well, the first thing we gotta do is locate the critter that took it. And there, boys, is where I shine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it pays off sometimes to have a way with girls. You sure got that, boss. I met a girl in the hotel. Pretty looking girl at that. She don't live here, then. I ain't seen a pretty girl here for months. Oh, I don't know who this one is. I guess she's just stopping long enough to get aboard the stage. She hinted that she'd be leaving when the stage pulled out. Get to the point. She was just sitting there passing the time in the hotel lobby, and I got to talking to her. What about the iron box? Yeah, get to the point, boss. We ain't interested in your romancing. Well, I turned the talk to the stopping of the stage and asked a lot of questions. She'd heard some about it. And it was a girl that brought up the subject of the iron box. What did she know about it? Maybe she's in cahoots with the ones that took it? She know how bad hurt that man that got it was? No. She seemed pretty much upset when she told about him being hurt. But then she dropped a remark that just about made me jump out of my chair. Yeah? Golly, what was that? She saw a stranger sign up for a room in the hotel here in town. Oh, is that all? Not by a long shot, it isn't all. She said he had a package wrapped up in paper under his arm. He was acting like it was pretty heavy. She heard him speaking to the clerk and asking if there was any special kind of keys that he could borrow. No, says the clerk. So then this stranger started asking for some special kind of saw that could be used to saw the lock off a trunk. And he didn't have no trunk? No sign of one. Hey, that was the critter that got our box. Now, do you see why I was ready to jump clear out of the chair? I sure do. Sure enough. How soon do we go and get this stranger? Oh, now, hold on. We can't bust in the hotel and go get him. We, we got to watch our step real careful. We've got to handle it smart. Hey, we're ready. Then listen sharp to the plans I got made. I'll go over to the hotel and find this stranger. Good evening, mister. My name's Neville. Bart Neville. Well, what do you want? Well, what I got to say is sort of private. You mind if I step into your room? Oh, of course not. Come in. There. What, uh, what's on your mind? I heard that you was asking for a key to open a special sort of box. Where did you hear that? Oh, I heard it. Never mind where. Did uh, someone tell you that? Maybe. Where uh, is the box? Oh, right, uh... Right there on the table. Uh-huh. Good enough. Now, ice your hand. Oh, hold on. Don't don't shoot. What's the matter? What have I done? You're the critter that took that box off the stage. Who, who says so? I say so. 
You must be loco to think you could stay right here in town and get away with it. But, but wait, I... You don't I, look like you had the nerve to do that. Please, put that gun down. You make me nervous. I won't shoot if you do what you're told. And I'll take this. You're, you're stealing that box. Leave it alone. Turn toward the window. That box isn't yours. You can see the address on it. Why, it's for a man in San Francisco. Oh, no, is it really? <laughs> well, I'm the one that's supposed to get it. The gen in Frisco doesn't exist, you savvy? Now go out that window ahead of me and don't try any tricks. You, you say the man in Frisco doesn't exist? Never mind any more questions. Out that window now and be quick. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Acting meek as the character he portrayed would under the circumstances, the Lone Ranger obeyed Neville and climbed out the window. He acted as if he were afraid he might be shot at any moment. Now walk straight ahead. Keep your hands up. Uh, tell me one thing, won't you? Well... Did, did you learn that I was looking for a key to that box from a girl? What? Did a girl tell you I wanted a key to open the box? Maybe so. What about it? I wondered who she was, what she was like. I haven't even said it was a girl. There's another thing. You, you said the box was to a fake name in San Francisco. The box you wanted. How did you plan to get it? None of your business. Were, were you going to rob the stage to get it? You're thinking too much, mister. That isn't healthy. But if that was the way you were to get it, the one who sent it must have known your plans. Maybe you didn't want anyone to know that something was being sent to you from Washington in, in a box addressed to the West Coast. I said not to think so much. It isn't healthy. Maybe you can get some answers to them questions when we get where we're going. Maybe you'll be able to give us some information. We got ways of persuading a man like you to talk. <laughs> The Lone Ranger was careful to walk without a limp in spite of his wound. Soon he found himself in a small house where a couple of men were waiting. Other men entered behind him. Well, here he is, boys. There's the iron boy. Great work, Neville. Oh, so that's your name. Won't do you any good to have found it out. Anyone know that you brought him here? <laughs> we slipped right out the window without a soul being the wiser. I'm most ashamed to take advantage of anyone that's as meek as this drummer is. Well, let's find out some more about him, boys. I aim to. You, mister, why did you want that there box? Well, that's my business. Who told you to get it? N no one said a word to me about that it. That isn't so. Oh, but it is. Boys, I haven't searched him yet. I didn't want to get close enough so that he could grab my gun. See if he's armed, but it isn't likely. Uh, just a minute, please, Mr. Neville. Yeah? Maybe there's some mistake. Why don't you open that box and make sure it's the one you want? Well, there might be two such boxes. Uh, it isn't likely. Well, you just came to my room, saw the box, and... Jumped to conclusions, you know. As soon as you saw the iron box, you thought it was the one you wanted. And you assumed that I was the one who took it from the stage. Now, there might be a mistake. I just can't figure you out. Sometimes I think you're scared half out of your wits, and other times I wonder if you know enough to be scared. Keep guns on him, boys. I'll have a look inside the box. Right. All right. The Lone Ranger's mind was racing. He wasn't sure what the mysterious box might hold, but he knew that he had to be ready to act fast within the next few seconds. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is our stuff, all right. Cash money. I thought it was about time we got paid off. Well, folding money, though. I hope we'd be paid off in gold. Well, gold's too heavy to send. You men seem to be in the employ of, of uh, someone in Washington. Smart, aren't you? Here's the plans for the next month, boys. Good. That's what I want. Watch out! You! Grab him! Get back there! Oh, he's like those guns! No, you oh, don't! Oh, my hand! The Lone Ranger snatched the paper, threw hard blows right and left, then leaped back, snatching a gun from beneath his coat. Taken by surprise, Neville and his men were off balance. Two sprawled on the floor before the others started to close in. Rush him! Get that gun! This way, dear boy! Great work, Toto! After him, men! After him! Silver! Get him! Get him! He got away! He's got a horse! Yeah, there was an Indian that come for him. We gotta get him! He called that horse Silver! You fool, Neville! You must took him complete! That mustache was faked. That man wasn't no salesman. You shut up. He was a lone ranger. He's got that paper from Washington. We gotta get it back. Come on, we'll follow that man. And we are. The sheriff. Come on, boys. Yeah, see if we were told right or wrong. What do you want here? I heard some shooting. What was it? Well, well, there's the iron box. Now hold on, sheriff. We had word we'd find the stage robbers here with the box they stole. Keep your hands up, you crooks. We didn't steal it. And how'd it get here? Full of cash, huh? Well, and Mark from Man in Frisco. This is the box, all right. I reckon it's all the evidence we need. The girl was right. We didn't rob the stage. Then how'd that box get here? Maybe you took it from the man who got it from the stage. In any case, you're thieves. We didn't. That is... Now look, Sheriff, he got away. If someone got away, he was in cahoots with you, maybe. And that still makes you men guilty. Now get going. It's jail for yours. <laughs> Let 
Steady, Silver. Won't steady. Stop, won't stop. Well, we can stop oh. here, Tonto. We're not being followed. Uh, you get paper from my inbox? I got it, Kimosabe. I see now why the girl was so concerned. She wanted us to wait until Neville and his men robbed the stage. Then they would have been sent to jail. That's right. And when we interfered with the robbery by getting the box off the stage, she fixed it so the crooks would rob me. And in any case, the crooks are in jail, and we have the instructions from Washington to Neville. Neville was one of the Black Arrow. And we know who sent plants from Washington? No, the girl's going to be disappointed. We still don't know the headman in Washington. But Toto, with the help of that girl, we'll find him sooner or later. Then we'll smash the Black Arrow. Uh, maybe better we move back from stream of water. River's muddy high tonight. And river get higher, too. Plenty of rain make it dry. Regular torrent, I... Toto, do you hear that? Uh, someone in water. Toto, Toto, it's a girl. Oh, no! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.